Today I have with me Austin with his 2018 F-250 and his 2020 Wolf Creek camper. In this week's video, we're gonna go on a walkthrough of the camper and see how he has his kit set up. Let's go. Hunting fish and we're always camping with our toys and rather than towing them in a toy hauler, this seems a little more economical because then we can go camping with like the boat because there's no boat that'll fit into it. Right. Toy hauler, so. I got talked into the fast guns. It takes only like two minutes to put it on, so I guess we'll test that theory. Have you felt like it's enough truck for the load? Yeah. Oh, okay. So these 850s are meant for three quarter ton trucks. Yeah. Um, dry weight's like 23. Oh, okay. Uh, they advertise like 2,000, but then with some of the add ons between AC, solar, there's an oven in here. It's 33 gallons of fresh. Oh, okay. So there's, you know. And then you carry your own uh, gray and, and black around? Yep, you can. So this is my setup in here. It's already mounted, the Riker Titan. Oh, okay. And then just push the on button and it times out after 15 seconds. Yeah. So that way if like you walk away nice. and it's not just going to wear down the battery of something constantly being on. Exactly. And then I think you have that similar remote. I have the same exact thing, yeah. Yeah. These are the uh, torque lift ta fast gun tie downs. So <clears throat> the uh, frame mounted, actually, well, these are the turnbuckles with like the spring that's built in. Yeah. And then those are the uh, torque lift tie downs that are mounted to the frame. Every kit has, uh, it's like specific to the vehicle. So, or specific to the model and make. To how much torque? No, I'm talking like where like the bolts and everything are fastened. So like this oh, is I like, see. these are the tie downs for an F-250 2018. Uh. So then there's this like little rubber grommet right there. You want to, they say like you want to get like a quarter inch out of place. So you set it and before you tighten it, you put that right to the top. And then when you push down, there's your quarter inch of play. So now it's set. Are you attached, bolted to the bed of the truck at all? No. So you could have literally drove the truck off of the camper if you wanted to. Oh yeah, I do, yeah. yeah. Is this your first time out? Uh, we camped on the way back down. We bought it from uh, Thompson RV up in Pendleton, Oregon. Oh, okay. Shout out, I think I'm wearing their hat actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, they uh, set us up, kind of gave us a little tutorial on what we were doing. And then we camped all the way back down. Uh, along the Mackenzie River. So if you had to like do a speed run on taking this off of your truck, how long are you looking at? I think the slowest part is as you saw like the jacks going down. Yeah. Ten minutes. And then there's, I'm guessing there's like a plug from your truck to the camper. Yeah, I've got a fifth wheel plug that we had to put, that's our fill up right here though. Yeah. And you can uh, connect to like RV and stuff also? Um, yeah. Nope, that's it right there. So that's our city water hookup. Okay. It's easy. And then our yeah, fill's right there. And then we've got our water heater here, which I said I'm not going to have to get into there a whole lot. It's like the same kind of water heater we have. Fox Landing is pretty much like the biggest back porch any kind of truck camper that I know of. Mm -hmm. Nice little engraving of the Fox there, but comes down nice and easy. And then getting in, it's, you know, Super efficient. Yeah. This is our wet bath. So it has the Shower, removable shower head right here, so you can wash you know, your head, get all the way down to your feet. Got our toilet, has a flusher. We have like our dry toilet paper holder, and then your sink to wash your hands. When you get in here, it actually has like a little vaulted ceiling. Oh, nice. So, I'm, uh, I'm 5'10", or almost 5'10", I wish I'm 5'10". <laughs> I can actually fit pretty good, and I've still got, you know, four or five inches of space on top. Just enough space to actually shower. Yeah. This is the, uh, yeah, Coleman Mach Thermo AC. It's 11,000. Oh, so wow. 
so it shoots out some pretty cold air. So, but I do know that like <laughs> when we're camping, we can't run it without having generators. And they said you're going to need like 3,500 watts, which we're not capable of producing with the generator that we have. So pretty much only going to be using it when we're plugged into shore power. Right. So. Now, do you have a battery bank in here too? We do, yeah, we have two 12 volts on the side. We got our like smart control stuff here that you probably know more about, like the Zamp Solar. Do you have any of that stuff? Uh, yeah, I've got some of that stuff. So Zamp Solar monitors, we're always running like 13.6 full. I guess when they're saying you're down at like around 11.4, you're actually dead batteries. So here we kind of have a closet that doesn't have a rod hanger, but we do actually have some hangers up in there, individual hooks. So my wife's planning on putting, you know, all of her clothes there. Mm -hmm. We got our microwave. Uh, we have our stove top here, over the overhead uh, vents and lights. The oven's pretty nice. Probably be able to do some brownies, cookies, anything in there. You may yeah. heat some stuff up. And then some storage underneath. A three burner cooktop stove. Obviously I have the uh, what? Bluetooth here. That's so. fancy. Sink. It's pretty deep, you know. We put a lot of stuff in there. Under here, if you're able to fit a trash can, you can access a lot of the plumbing. Um, and then our battery shut off is in the back over there. Yeah, so we don't have an inverter. So when we're plugged into shore power at a campground or a house or something, yeah, we only can run all of our stuff. And the best indicator to show that you're actually running is that uh, your microwave uh, will turn on. Oh, okay. And then, but we still have cell phone chargers and everything like that because we just have Rather than a 110 uh -huh. outlet, we have just uh, regular USB ports and that charges our phone and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. yeah, that's how we do it. Or this is pre-wired for an onboard generator. Oh, okay. And it has like the vents for it. Nice. So, and then we'll just be able to come in here and be like, all right, let's run some AC or let's run the microwave or I want to blow dry my hair. Yeah. And you just flip it on and <laughs> flip it off. It's super easy, but it's really expensive. It's like close to $3,600, I believe, for the whole setup. This is cool. It's kind of false storage. You can get a little something back there, uh -huh. but the main trick is um, okay. don't, don't tell me it's a bed. It's a bed. Yeah. It's not meant for you or I, but if you got a kid under like 140 pounds, uh -huh. then, uh, works well. Uh, how big is your fridge? Uh, okay. Wow. Pretty big. <laughs> you know. Then we got a freezer up here. Mm-hmm. Uh, nice. Let me see here. So you don't have to have an extra fridge in the truck or anything like that? Nope. No. So then it's got like an auto and uh, so you can run it off electric or you can run it off propane. Mm -hmm. So if we're running around like right now, so I'm going to turn it on and then you just switch back and forth on the modes here. Mm -hmm. And right there it'll tell you AC's auto or LP gas. And so right now it's in, I believe, you just follow that little thing around. So right now it's in auto mode. It knows that we're not connected to uh, electricity, so it's switched over we're cooling it down on LP gas. So then up here, we have like the, the Kenwood Bluetooth. We have the speakers that you heard when I got the phone call. Yep. Um, this is our Zamp Solar over here. It's gonna monitor our batteries. Mm -hmm. And then here's kind of our thermostat for the AC or heater. We ran the heater a lot when we were on our way back from Oregon. Yeah. It's really cold. And we were honestly totally fine in here with a blanket, keeping that thing at 67, 68, right. and like 28 degree weather on the way down. So okay. snow all around, it was great. Uh, big nice bed up here. That's a storage. So, if you want to, you don't have to get in bed with me, but if you want to look at our little charging center here for, it's ready to rock with a, uh, so like if we did plug into somewhere, we okay. have uh, an antenna um, hook up there for a TV, 12 volt TV is usually what these things can come with. Storage on both sides. And it looked like you had a satellite dish on top. We do. That's that for like true? when you plug in with the TV. I mean, I don't plan on using that whatsoever, but um, <laughs> you know, when I'm camping, I hopefully I'm camping. Uh, I got to show you my favorite part. Oh, you got a favorite part? Yeah. All right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. Yeah, that's my. That's one of my favorite part. Do you have tie downs for it, or is it good to go in any kind of wind level? Supposedly it's pretty good. The guy went. I don't want to do it, but he like you know pulled on it. And it holds. Right. So, yeah, this is like less than a five minute setup at camp. He was like ready to go. Uh, we thought about doing uh, like the overhead truck to camper, like with the, like the accordion top tent, like you have. Yeah. But my wife is like, I'm tired of just getting there and setting up. When I get there, I want to flip a couple switches and be camping. So, right. We settle on this. Oh, outside shower. Yeah. Love these. 
Okay guys, so big thank you to Austin and his wife for letting us check out his rig. And if you want to know more about their adventures, go ahead and check the links in the description down below. Check out my wife's uh, yeah. uh, copy to camo. She always blogs about how to's, like she's gonna do one about basically how to set it up. Uh, okay. She does a lot of like gardening, how to raise chickens in the city. Nice. And a lot of, she kind of uh, just documents all of our hunting trips together. Basically how like a woman gets into uh, hunting, like, which is typically known as like a man's sport. This is Austin. I'm Austin with Wolfpack Outdoors. Howl at you later.